Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are playing yet another user submitted deck. We've had very good luck this week with user submitted decks, so I thought we'd try another one. This time not brought to you by Turn 1 Soul Ring. I think for the first time potentially ever we have a new person submitting decks. We've actually got a lot of people submitting decks, uh, but this one really caught my eye. Uh, this is by, I, I hope I'm saying this correctly, I have it pulled up over here. Spino Raptor or Spino Raptor? I, I'm not sure which one, but they did submit this Is It Draw deck. Uh, very, very good synergy in this list. Lots of really, really fun things. I will go ahead and say the only thing I had to do, uh, I could not put all three. He originally had three Royal Scions in this list. I unfortunately am out of wild cards for uh, Mythic. Uh, and so I just threw in an extra opt. Uh, originally there were three. Just to keep it very, very simple, it's a flexible spell, so I thought, you know what, we'll just stick it, make it easy, and that's what we've got. So, the idea here is to discard and draw a bunch of cards and get tons and tons of value off of doing that uh, with kind of a card that I didn't expect, which was the Glinthorn Buccaneer. Uh, this card is really, really sweet. Now, there are a lot of payoffs in this deck, so this is not the only one, but uh, whenever you discard a card, it deals one damage to an opponent. Uh, and you can play this out, out for three, it's a 2-4 with haste. Uh, and then you can use its ability, pay one in a red, discard a card, draw a card, but you can only do that if it's attacking. Now, it, it does have haste, so and these abilities stack if you've got more than just one out. Uh, and so you can do some really, really cool stuff with that. In playtesting this list, I was very, very surprised at how well this card worked, uh, if I'm honest. Now, that's only one of the payoff cards. Uh, obviously, we also have Nadir Kraken, uh, which is kind of uh, true and true, just a really, really solid draw uh, at synergy kind of card for draw decks uh, that really goes over the top quick. Uh, most often, you're going to pay that extra one, even if that does mean you kind of take yourself... It depends on your hand, but uh, a lot of times you can very easily pay for that one, get a 1-1 one -one counter on this, and spit out a token, so you get to go wide while also getting a strong, just over-the-top creature. Uh, and speaking of over-the-top over creatures, we do run for Ominous Seas. So this is our big, giant 8-8 blue Kraken. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. If you can get this down early, it's very, very easy to get this thing uh, going, uh, especially in this deck, obviously given so many draw spells. Uh, as far as other payoff cards, uh, Niv-Mizzet here is also a very, very good one. So six mana for a 5-5 five, five flyer that cannot be countered. Uh, whenever you draw a card, it deals one damage to any target. That is any target. That's pretty good for this deck. Uh, and then whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you get to draw a card. So uh, not only does this give you extra draws off of your instants and sorceries, but uh, also the opponent as well. Uh, now to help us in these draw engines, uh, the magic mirror is kind of at the top end of what we're trying to do. So this just really continues its exponential growth. We essentially just continue drawing tons and tons of cards. Very, very good. Uh, Rael is here as a four of as well. Uh, anytime we discard a card, we actually get to uh, draw a card uh, on top of that for every card we discard. So it's pretty good. Uh, not only that, but it also just gets powered up with all the instants and sorceries that we've got in our graveyard. Uh, and so this is kind of an engine for us, uh, as well as the Royal Scions, which obviously in itself is a looter. Uh, but also gives us the ability to power up some creatures if we need to, and then obviously ultimating uh, if we if we can get there. Uh, now, in terms of just basic draw spells, we do have Chemister's Insight at the top end. Uh, we've got Cathartic Reunion as a very, very good discard and draw, uh, and then Thrill of Possibility as a slightly worse version. Uh, four opt to just help us continuously draw cards when we have that left up one mana. Uh, and then Ominous Seas obviously cycles uh, as well as neutralize for two here. We can cycle this away, but this also gives us a little bit of interaction if we need it. We can hold up this counter uh, and then just leave up, you know, maybe a thrill of possibility and opt in its place. So uh, lots of really, really cool synergies in this list. This is only a 21 land deck. Uh, four Temple of Epiphany, Epiphany, excuse me, four Steam Vents, five Mountain, and eight uh, Islands here. Obviously a little bit heavier blue. Uh, and so that's what we're looking at. Uh, I really do want to thank uh, Spinoraptor, Spinoraptor, uh, for the submission here. I really like this deck and playtesting it. I thought it was very, very fun. Uh, so we are going to try this. We'll see if we can get there. Um, 
I think it's a bit in not inconsistent, but I think a bit hit or miss, uh, just in terms of the matchup mostly. Uh, so we'll see how it ends up going, but I'm very excited to be trying this deck out. I think it's very fun, and again, it's always great to get submissions from you guys, so very much appreciated. Uh, this is not an amazing start. Uh, we don't have any of our draw engines. Here. I mean, we have the engines, I should say. We don't have any of the spells, but given that we don't have very many land in the deck, I'm going to keep the three lander because I kind of want to play it safe. Um, maybe that's incorrect. I'm not 100% sure, but... We will see. Oh, a Ley Line of Abundance. Uh, we will keep that on top. Uh, that's a great turn two for us, so obviously going to keep. Uh, just want to mention, um, and I think I mentioned it yesterday, um, very, very fortunate to have Proxy the Goats uh, working on our Discord, Discord server for us. Uh, so if you are not already, please go check that out. We've got some really, really cool stuff set up in there finally, uh, all thanks to him. And so we really do... Uh, really do appreciate the support that he's giving us uh, to help make this possible. Um, I think we'll take the opportunity to play the Royal Scions here. Uh, and we'll just draw and discard. Um, let's just go ahead and discard this. Um, I think we kind of want to get the engine online while Incubation Druid is really the best thing that they've got on the field. Uh, I think that's the correct play. Um, and yeah, it looks like they're going to adapt. That makes sense. All right, so uh, the question becomes, do we play this out uh, and then do this, or how do we want to do it? I, I kind of think we lean that way. Um, this may be incorrect, but we're going to try it. Let's draw a card and then discard a card. Ooh. Um, mm. Discard this. Uh, so this gives us a way, it basically lets us draw an extra card, which is really, really nice and why we did that. Uh, so definitely like that. Um, Royal Scion's probably going to take a hit here, but we'll see. Wow, a Meteor Golem. Not at all what I expected to see. Uh, yeah, you got it. That's an interesting one. Um, okay, so we can Cathartic Reunion if we would like. Uh, we could also uh, Buccaneer here. I kind of think the Cathartic Reunion's the way to go. Um, keep in mind, I'm learning this deck as we go along here, so there's a lot that I am, uh, we'll say a little unsure of, but this sets us up very, very well, I think. Uh, we get to draw five cards, uh, which is kind of stupid, um, and we get a lot of counters, uh, which is also very good. So let's get this down. Let's go ahead and get the Buccaneer down. Um, and we're going to pass and do this. We don't really want to give them a target here, so we're going to do this on the end step of their turn. Uh, or, you know, if they decide to attack in or something, we can always do that. So we will see what they want to do. Um, next turn, we get Niv-Mizzet down, uh, if we'd like, which is pretty good, <laughs> as it turns out. Um, Voracious Hydra. Sure. So the question is, are they going to... I assume they're going to kill one of these. Yeah. Uh, sure. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do this now, then. All right. And now we're halfway there to getting another one, uh, which is kind of stupid. But <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and play Niv-Mizzet out here. Uh, and I'm going to attack with the 8-8. It's a little, you know, aggressive to attack with the 8-8, but considering they've got Voracious Hydras and things like that in their deck, yeah, um, I'd rather go ahead and get rid of this. We can get more 8-8s very, very quickly, uh, and we essentially have an unlimited supply, which is very nice. Um, also, just want to mention, I released kind of a different style. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, kind of a different style video than what we normally do. Uh earlier today it was kind of the do's and don'ts of getting someone involved in magic i i think it's a really interesting video i hope that you guys found it interesting at least um i i had a lot of fun making that video to be honest it's a little bit different for us uh but i think it was it was well worth it so i hope you guys enjoyed it i really do uh technically we probably should have hit that um i don't think we're on that plan and i don't really think we need the land either uh, yep. And this is that synergy that we were talking about. We really just get to go ham with some stuff here. Um, kill that. Let's get this guy going. 
And we've got a bunch of counters on this. This deck is very fun, uh, is the takeaway here. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We'll get rid of an opt here. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get you. <laughs> uh, yep. And yep. There we go. Uh, getting rid of some of these, like, fairly important cards, I think, on the opponent's side. Um, let's... Let's just get the magic mirror. Oh, whoa, whoops, whoops, whoops. Definitely can't do that. Um, let's just go ahead and get Rael down now. Uh, now, does this have reach? No. Good. Let's just do this. We'll attack for five. Uh, we can just swing straight at them, but I kind of would rather hit their creatures. I, I mean, we're going to get there on the damage race anyway, so I'm not super worried about that. Um... If they attack in, I'm super just going to block. <laughs> uh, perfect. So let's just go ahead and do this now then. This deck is sweet. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it just feels good to be able to do so much with just drawing cards. Like, that's the entire goal of the deck, and that's what it's good at. And so I'm really, really enjoying it. Very good suggestion. Spinner Raptor, Spinner Raptor. I don't know. Man, I don't know. But I'm loving it. Very much loving it. Uh, they can attack in here, it's fine. We'll easily block. Especially given that they don't have any spells to play. <laughs> like, easy. Easy, easy. Um, <sighs> mm. Let's just hit them. Let's just be, I think, smart about this. Uh... Let's do this. Cycling does count as a discard, by the way. Just gonna do this. <laughs> and now, again, we're very, very close to just hitting them for for another 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> uh, let's thrill. Discard Rael. And this, I mean, you're seeing how this synergy really, really works. Um, granted, they do have a Reacher, so... They don't just, uh, or we don't just get to, you know, win off the bat here, but, like, it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, this is also a Reacher, is it not? Yeah. Let's do this. Do this. Um, put that on the bottom. Not particularly interested in that. Um, not that it, like, super matters, but... And this is where we could have been clearing out some of their board and everything like that, but it just doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and activate this, and there we go. All right, game one. Whoo, we really got to see what the deck was trying to do. Ooh, sorry for the frame rates there, guys. Um, we really, really got to see what the deck is trying to do, and holy crap, is it sweet. Uh, God, I love just good synergistic decks. Uh, this, this feels very, very good. So uh, let's go ahead. And jump into game two. Uh, hopefully you guys have had a very, very good week. Uh, it's been a very busy week for it resolves. We've done a lot of things. Uh, not only getting, uh, you know, a little bit of a different kind of video up, but also the normal gameplay stuff. And, uh, of course, hanging out with all of you guys in our awesome Discord channel, which has just gotten better. Uh, and so we are very, very excited. Uh, frame rates are dipping a little bit. Um, let's, uh, let's try and ditch out and just see if that helps it, it may not um it very well may not also just a heads up uh if at some point very soon uh you hear a dog barking from what seems like very very close by uh it's because there's a dog very very close by right over there and my fiance is going to be coming home very soon uh and that just means the dog's going to bark as it turns out that's just what happens um i'm texting her now so I'll be right back. All right. Better on the frame rates, so that's good. And we will keep this in. Now, this might be a tougher matchup, uh, to be honest. Not 100% sure. We're not going to shock ourselves in the opt. We'll find a place to, to play that opt. I don't think we need it right this second. Um, and honestly, it may be discard fodder for a thrill, but we'll, we'll certainly see. Uh, and this is where I think this deck lacks, uh, is in just basic board interaction. 
uh, it does not gain life, so it's going to be a little bit tricky against these very aggressive decks. Uh, the the Buccaneer here is actually, excuse me, quite strong against these decks because uh, unless they run Lava Coil, they are going to have to like lose a creature and a burn spell to really get rid of it, um, or you know have a uh, a Torbrand out or something like that, something very very powerful to help it, but. Uh, other than that, it's probably going to trade with some creatures, so that that does help, um, but we'll see. Um, let's just go ahead and do this now. We are going to discard this opt. Uh, as strong as, as much as I like getting opt down uh, different times, I think we kind of have to. Double Niv Mizzet. Uh, well, that's discard fodder. Uh, one of them. Um, so the trick is, at this point, we just have to kind of play some stuff out and hope we get there. Uh, but chances are this is going to be a tough one. Probably a quick one, but a tough one. All right. Um, yeah, let's just do that, and we will go ahead and just play this out. <clears throat> uh, if we can get to Niv-Mizzet territory, we will be amazing uh just because we can start kind of mowing down all of their creatures but chances are that's very unlikely to happen is what i will say okay we're gonna take a pretty big hit here most likely <clears throat> uh trying to think too what would be the best course of action here so this is a problem card for sure uh but really all of them are <laughs> unfortunately um, they're just going to attack with that. So do we take the opportunity just to block it? I kind of think we do. Um, <clears throat> as strong as this is, I think it's right to just save ourselves as much damage right now as possible. We might be able to get to six mana, in which case we'll be in amazing shape, but it's going to be very, very tight. Um, did they? That was interesting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, let's thrill first. See what we can do. We will get rid of a niv mizzet here. Um, man, I wish we could get the Royal Scions down, but let's go ahead and scry. We'll keep that. Uh, just on the off chance, we can kind of sneak in for a, another blocker here. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I think this one's going to be... Not going to happen. Uh, we're we're going to be taking a lot of damage here. No doubt. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we just lose. There we go. All right. Well done, opponent. That was just a quick game. I mean, perfectly fine. I think against, like I said in the very beginning, against specific decks, this one's going to suffer because it is a little tricky. Uh, but obviously, given the time, uh, which I think a lot of decks right now give you enough time to really go off, um, you can really do a lot of stuff. And I think what's, uh, we'll summarize our thoughts on this, obviously, in video two, but I think what's really nice about a deck like this is that, obviously, it's capitalizing on something that you do anyway. Uh, it's just drawing cards. And so you've always kind of got an engine in place. It's just a matter of speeding up that engine to help you, obviously, win a lot sooner. Um, yeah, we'll keep. Uh, I think, though, what's what's great about this, too, is that it attacks on a few different axes, uh, which is really, really cool. I mean, it's got the Buccaneer kind of play. It's got the Niv-Mizzet play. Uh, it's got the Royal Scions themselves to help us get there and that kind of thing. Like, it's just got a lot of stuff. Uh, Ominous Seas as well. I mean, there's a lot of win conditions just kind of built in that capitalize on that draw very, very well. So very excited to to try this out. We'll, we'll keep a land on top. I definitely think we need that. Um, but man, loving this stack Raptor. You knocked it out of the park. This is a fun one. Uh, we'll see what the opponent wants to do. Potentially mono white, uh, which is going to be a little tricky, uh, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, we'll do this and we're, we're just going to go ahead and take the opportunity. Um, Ryle's going to be a nice discard fodder or if one of them dies, obviously we'll bring it back. Okay. Yep. Life gain deck looks like. Um, I think we'll just play out Rael here. We've got like three, so, um, we can block for days, uh, which is good. 
Uh, we could have left up neutralize. I don't really think we needed to. My guess is they just kind of equip this up anyway. Because <clears throat> uh, then it just procs itself. I mean, it's like easy given. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Clearly I was. But this still does block very efficiently. Ah, there we go. Sure. Um, whoops, not what I meant. I'm just going to say no blocks. Uh, my goodness, we have gotten every single one of these. That's pretty crazy. Uh, ugh. Maybe it would have been better to block. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm going to leave up the neutralize here. Uh, we can always cycle it away if we just don't have a good target. Uh, I think that's a good enough target. Let's keep them off of quite so many of these because um, they do stack up quite badly for us. So, um, yep. Uh, here, I think I will block because <clears throat> we're going to take a big hit here. Yep. Yep. We'll block one of these guys. Uh, and again, we're in a bit of a tough spot. Uh, to be brutally honest, but uh, we'll we'll do the best we can here. Um, hmm. I don't think we can get out of this, right? We can, you know, kind of struggle here, but that's about it. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Um. But yeah, chances are, I mean, we just lose, I think, this coming turn, really. Ooh, very, very good. Um, so we do get to block one thing here, but yeah, that's pretty bad. Mm. Yep. Uh, we were about to turn away, though, from really going ham with Niv-Mizzet, so there was something there, but... Yeah, we just, uh, we just lose. All right. Well, I'm still glad at least we kind of got to see what the deck was trying to do, uh, in game one. So I'm very happy we got one of those in. Uh, we will, of course, be doing a, uh, second video with this and kind of do a second look, and then we'll summarize our thoughts on it. Uh, definitely has its issues, but it is a very fun deck. So I do recommend trying this one out already. Like this is just fun. So, uh, thank you again to Raptor for, uh, submitting this deck list. Very, very happy to see some new faces there submitting. Uh, and again, if anybody else would like to jump in, uh, and suggest some decks, we, we have a channel for that. So you're more than welcome to do so. We really would, uh, appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, can't wait to try this one again, and I will see you very, very soon with part two of this is it draw synergy deck thing submitted by Raptor. <laughs> Thanks guys.